everyone, it's Joy and welcome back to Pumic Weekly, where we bring you the latest Chinese deal prices and the market trends every single week. If you're new here, simply hit the subscribe and like buttons right here. Don't miss out on any future updates. This week, the Chinese deal prices fell below the previous fluctuation range, showing an accelerated downward trend. Rebar futures hit a new low since the end of April 2020 while Haro coil futures fell to a 14-month low. So what's behind this development? Looking at the macro picture, the central bank is trying to boost the economy by lowering the 1-year and 5-year LPR by 10 basis points and the 1-year MLF by 20 basis points. However, the market hasn't given much positive response. Instead, the Shanghai Composite Index has fell to a 5-month low, causing investors much worries. In the steel market, traders are particularly worried about the new national standard for rebar, which has come into effect at the end of September. This has led to fears that inventories of old standard will lose their value. As a result, traders have been selling off large quantities of them as early as possible, causing rebar prices to plummet further, while panic has been spreading across the market. As a result, we are seeing a general price falling from sport to futures, and from finished products to raw materials. Next, let's examine the supply and demand side. This week, China's appearing demand dropped by more than 240,000 tons, and inventories grew by 6,000 tons, with production falling a bit. This drop in demand and the increase in inventory are intensifying the pressure to reduce stockpiles. So what's next for the steel market? Currently, steel prices have fallen below their key level, leading to very bearish market sentiment. On top of that, rebar is under dual pressure, the need to digest inventory due to the transition from old to new national standards, and the sluggish demand. Although the demand for horror coils is stronger than rebar, it still faces pressure from higher supply and a recent decline in manufacturing demand. Looking ahead, we believe that the short-term market will continue its downward trend. However, it's also worth paying attention to the potential risk of oversold rebound after such rapid and substantial declines. Well, what's our take on the Chinese deal market? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. Just hit the subscribe and like buttons right here. See you next week. Bye-bye.